Hello and welcome to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is my seven day seniors challenge. What well, is gonna be nice and simple, 10 minutes a day for seven days. Basic moves, low impact. If there's any moves that you don't feel are suitable, you can obviously just switch them out or miss it out. But I really wanna improve your mobility, get you feeling stronger and hopefully pick up your mood and have you feeling happier and energized after each workout. So nice and simple, we've got 10 different exercises. We're gonna work for 35 seconds and rest for 25 seconds. So we're going to the move, I'll demonstrate the exercise, follow along as best as you can. And as I said, if any of the moves don't feel suitable, skip it out or do another march on the spot or a squat or whatever it may be that suits you. So this is all about picking up your energy. We're gonna kick things off nice and simple, hands out to the side, and we're just gonna try and rotate nice and slowly, touching our toes. Are you ready? Take your time. Let's go. So, this is just about rotation through the spine, trying to get your fingertips, if you can, to touch the toes. If you're nowhere near there, just go for the knee. We'll just get a bit of rotation so you can touch the knee like this. And obviously, if you, as you open up a bit more range, you'll be able to sort of get down a little bit lower each time. So nice deep breaths, touching those toes left and right. You'll feel that we're stretching the inside of the thigh and the groin, but also your lower back's getting a nice bit of rotation through the spine. Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Perfect, right, we're off. Next exercise, basically standing on the spot, we're just gonna be lifting our right knee up. So it's gonna take a little bit of balance on the left leg, but the aim is to kind of use the arms as well and just drive the knee up and down. So up, and you'll feel muscles in your legs having to work, but also your abs, you're having to sort of engage. If you can bring it up above the waist, you'll feel your abs engage. So, nice simple knee drive and down. So you'll feel your left leg is having to work to balance. If you can't lift the leg right up really high like this, just lift it slightly off the ground. So just get it off the ground and you'll feel that left leg as you drive that knee up. You've got to really stabilize that left leg. The muscles in that right left leg are having to really work. So up, down. Perfect, nice straight back. Trying to drive the knee up as high as you can. Again, this is all about joint health, so it's about mobility in the hips. It's about opening up those joints and getting things moving. Perfect, we're now gonna switch. Same thing, right foot's planted on the floor, and we're bringing that left knee up. So it's gonna be left knee. Again, you don't have to bring it right up. You could just literally, just by bringing your foot off the floor, you're, you're already having to kind of put the weight through this leg and those muscles are activating. So do what you can, use the arms if you want, straight back and drive that knee up. Let's go, 35 seconds. So knee up and down. And remember this is about doing what you can and just coming back every day, seven days. It's just 10 minutes. You can do it in the morning, in the evening. I just wanna kind of, you know, pick your heart rate up a little bit, build some strength in the muscles and also improve the range of motion through your joints. So your hips, the ball and socket, your shoulders, you know, your knees. I really wanna keep you moving and get all those joints strong and healthy. Right, drive that knee up, lift and down. So you'll feel that standing leg obviously has to really work, but by bringing that knee above the waist, you sort of feel your, your abdominal muscles have to kick in. Perfect. Next I'm gonna do, basically, just stand sort of shoulder width apart, elbows together, and then we're gonna reverse fly. So we're kind of trying to activate the muscles in our upper back. So elbows together, squeeze, and back to the center. Off we go. So really this is about the muscles in the scapula, to the shoulder. We're trying to bring the elbows together and then open up, keeping that 90 degree bend in the elbows. Imagine you're squeezing um, like a pencil between your shoulder blades. So you're really trying to activate those muscles. So deep muscles in the shoulder, elbows back and together, good. That's it, perfect. So keep going, squeeze together, really pinch those shoulder blades back together, last one, and relax. So you'll feel that in, all these muscles up here, great way to just get that range of motion, open up those shoulder joints. Okay, next up, we're gonna do some arms out, arms out nice and straight, so we're trying to activate our deltas, with our shoulders, and from there we're just gonna march on the spot. So again, you can do it slow and low, or you can go a little bit faster, and high, you can feel them shoulders working just by keeping the arms out, right, straight arms, let's go. So knees up, marching on the spot, 
Remember, it's only 10 moves. It's going to be over really quickly. So let's try and think about building our heart rate, raising it up. And the arms are going to start to want to drop. Really squeeze them up and back. So squeeze the shoulders back together. Ah, you can feel that in those shoulders there, can't you? Right, knees up. Marching. Nice and high. Come on, eight seconds. Come on, really bring the energy now. Push it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh, those little muscles. This, even though we're not using any weight, you can, you're really working them. So you can just use body weight. You can really strengthen things just with the weight of your arms. Okay, next up, we're going to step back with arms up. So essentially, stepping back and reaching the arms up. Now, it takes a bit of balance, even though I've got in then, but just stepping back, reach up. Off we go. And obviously the aim is if you can, is to step and sort of bend that back knee a little bit. So you're really getting into a lunge, but if that's too difficult, to step, even keeping that leg a bit straight at the front. So you haven't got a drop right down. But obviously the more you bend that knee, you're gonna feel a stretch through the hip flexor, you're gonna Strengthen those quads. Perfect, so same again. Arms come up, step, step, step back. Arms come up, step back. Last one, step back and relax, perfect. But now we're gonna go down onto the ground. So hopefully you can do that and then sit down nice and slow on the ground. We're now gonna, if you can't sit down, just stand up and do another march on the spot or have a rest. But we're gonna sit down and activate our hamstrings and our glutes. So we're gonna lay flat on the ground and what we're gonna do is push our feet into the floor, hands into the ground, lift and lower. So you're trying to activate your glutes. Let's go. So these are the biggest muscle in the body, the glutes. And obviously they really affect your pelvis and the curvature in your lower back. So if they're tight and weak, you might have issues with that. So let's try and activate these. Let's try and strengthen them, improve our posture. So we're driving the feet into the floor by squeezing those glutes, you're driving the hips up, so lift your hips off the ground. That's it, drive and lift. So keeping those feet flat on the ground. <sighs> Squeeze and relax. Good, so you should really feel that in the hamstrings and, and the glutes. Um, and if those muscles feel really, you know, asleep and they're not active, that exercise is really gonna help. It's gonna fire them up, strengthen them up. So next thing I'm gonna do, this is more of a hip opening exercise. So feet nice and wide. Hands behind your back just to sort of rest your, hold your body up. And we're just going to drive our knee towards the floor and then open up. So this is, a, this is about creating internal and external rotation of the hips. So you might just get to there and back. You don't have to go, but obviously as you do this, every day you're going to increase the active range in that joint. Because it is a ball and socket, right? So we want to try and get full you know, mobility in there. And obviously look, look, you don't have to go right to the ground. I've got one that's open a bit more open than the other. This one's a bit tighter. So again, even in the fittest, healthiest, youngest people, joints are, there's always like a, there can be an imbalance. So don't feel like they've both got to be symmetrical just yet, but strengthen this, work through it, and rest. Perfect. Right, next thing I'm gonna do, sit on the floor. It's gonna be a seated, basically a hamstring kind of stretch. So we're gonna try if we can. Imagine we're on a rowing machine. We're gonna stretch forward and then whoosh, row back. Stretch forwards. So imagine we've got a rowing in our bar and we're gonna pull that towards us. And again, we're activating the arms on our back while stretching those hands into your toes and row. If you find it too difficult with the leg straight, you can bend them slightly. Stretch. Imagine you're rowing on a rowing machine. So stretch forwards and row back, good. Same again, stretch. Row, you can try and keep the legs straight, you're going to feel a stretch in the hamstring and then pull that imaginary rope towards you. Elbows up, squeeze together, pull it, last few seconds and relax, perfect. We're now going to stand up, so gently just standing up, you can. We're going to do the final move, this is number 10, so we're going to try and pick our heart rate up now. You've done really well with those first exercises. The last one, nice and simple, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of sit into a squatting position, so Quite low like this, and then we're going to punch. So we sort of squat, and as you sort of um, as you punch, you just twist slightly, just punching across the body. Off we go. So obviously you can sit lower if you want. 
that's too hard, do it more standing up. Just get that little rotation so we're punching up and across the body. This is the last exercise. Hope you've enjoyed this first workout. It's seven days, 10 minutes a day, and every workout is different. So I'm gonna try and challenge you in different ways, get your heart rate up, and get you feeling fantastic every, every time. Right, last few seconds. So speed up a little bit. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. That's the end of the time of beeper. So we've just completed our first day number one of our 10 minute, seven day challenge. It's gonna be simple. 10 moves every day for seven days. And I promise at the end of this week, you're gonna feel more energized. Your body's gonna be moving well. Hopefully it's gonna, you know, relieve some kind of aches and pains you may have. And hopefully just pick up your energy and get you feeling good. That's the most important thing. It's not just about the body, it's about the mind. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me. I'm Joe Wicks. That was day one of my seven day senior challenge. And I'll see you tomorrow for day number two. Good luck.